This week in the Rundown, we discuss how you can protect yourself in cyberspace, the Redesign Transition Assistance Program, and more opportunities for you to earn a Navy-funded postgraduate degree. First, the recent security breach at the Office of Personnel Management underscores the need to be aware of online threats, such as identity theft and hacking. OPM is notifying the estimated 4 million government employees who may have been affected by the cybersecurity breach. Here are five tips everyone should follow to help prevent identity theft. One, check your account information regularly. Two, keep an eye on your credit report. Three, verify the identity of anyone asking for your information. Four, do not reveal personal or financial information in email, and do not respond to emails asking for this information. And five, keep your documents in a safe place. For more information, check out this week's wire. Next, the Navy has redesigned the Transition Assistance Program, or TAP, to prepare sailors for the civilian sector. The changes include a new curriculum called Transition, Goals, Plans, and Success, or GPS. It's a five-day class that goes in depth in financial planning, VA benefits, and includes an employment workshop, all designed for preparing sailors for a civilian career. The Navy also announced more opportunities for you to receive a master's or doctorate degree. More than 1,500 quotas are available for officers and enlisted. These will include programs at the Navy Postgraduate School, the Naval War College, and various other service grad schools, as well as the top civilian universities. Remember, these are Navy-funded programs intended to help us educate and retain our best and brightest. So don't miss out on the opportunity. Contact your detailer for more information on an academic career path or visit npc.navy.mil and click Education under the Info tab. Next week, we'll look at how the Command Advancement Program, CAP, is transforming into the Meritorious Advancement Program, MAP. Beyond a name change, the new program will give commands the opportunity to petition for extra quotas or return unused ones. Among other things, we expect a NAV admin to be out this week. That's all we have this week on The Rundown. For any questions, shoot us a tweet at USN People, or you can find more information in this week's Wire. For the Chief of Naval Personnel, I'm Lieutenant Ryan Benitez. Thanks for watching.